What's up, Divi Nation? How are you doing today? Whether it is evening or morning, we're super glad you're here, wherever you are. We, um, your panel here is in a couple different places on the planet. And, oh my gosh, I forgot to mute my YouTube and it just started my own voice in my ears. It's like the worst thing ever. Such a rookie move. Anyway, uh, today we're talking on Divi Chat about some Divi websites. So we're super excited about this. A lot of times we talk about running your Divi business or improving your Divi business or things like that. It's also peripherally about Divi always, but today we're really going to dig in and we're going to break our own rules just a little bit because we usually don't um, share screens. Um, we don't share our screen on this show because we have such a big percentage of our audience that just listens to the audio only. So I will apologize in advance to you if you are listening by audio only, but before you skip the episode, don't hit skip yet. We are gonna describe what we're saying and we're gonna talk about it. And then you can always pop over to YouTube, our website, which is divi.chat, um, the Facebook page, the, the live stream is there on all of those. So if something that we're talking about seems interesting and you'd like to see it, you can just jump over there whenever you yeah, are we'll, no longer we'll, we'll, driving or in the shower or wherever you happen to be right now. We'll talk about the URLs too. So you can always pop it into sure. your yeah. browser on your phone. For sure. So before we actually dive in, why don't we meet our panel? Uh, Eric, do you want to kick it off today? Sure. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Eric, and I'm with Divi Agency Coach, also with In Transit Studios. And I am currently in Lima, Peru, and it's uh, chilly here. It's the middle of the winter, and so um, it's like low 60s, and my bald head is freezing. So <laughs> I have to have a hat because there are no furnaces or heat sources at all here. So, yeah. Eric, um, I just want to. Uh to warn you that for our European audience, particularly those in the UK, you may be receiving violent death threats about complaining about this chilly weather because the, the entirety of uh, the UK and much of Europe is almost on fire right now. Like they are dying and yeah. they don't have any air conditioning. So we, I've, I've seen the news and uh, yeah, but still 62 yeah. is kind of chilly. A, a friend, a friend in England, sent me a photo of himself in his car with a beer today, and was like, "Don't worry, I'm not driving. I'm just sitting here in the air conditioning <laughs> in the driveway." So, anyway, Tim, would you like to introduce yourself? I would love to introduce myself. Uh, hey, everyone, Tim Streifler here, broadcasting from San Clemente, California, and you can find me online at DiviLife dot com where I have all my Divi plugins, tutorials, and layouts, and then WPGears.com where I have my other podcast, uh, WP the podcast, which is a daily podcast, and then my uh, courses, the Divi Beginner Course and the Divi Beginner Course. Did I say the Divi Beginner Course and the the Divi Twice. Divi Beginner mm -hmm. Course and the Begin Divi again. Business Expert yeah. Course? <laughs> yeah, beginner yeah. and expert. Got it. <laughs> Where's Got my era? We're in trouble. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, we've already been chatting enough. We don't have time for his intro today anyway. So uh, I'm Stephanie Hudson. I'm here representing Focus WP, as always, uh, where we offer an, uh, extra, an instant team for your business. So whatever it is that you need to do to grow and scale your business, if you need to offload some work into some talented developers or copywriters or graphic designers, or if uh, you want to add a couple functions or services that aren't really in your wheelhouse, we can help you expand your service offering as well. So check us out, focuswp.co. And um, since I did just mention Mike, we do have to have a little moment, a brief, very brief moment of silence for our pal. He was real excited to come and talk about this. This was his topic idea. But as some of you, I'm sure, are also dealing with um, the site ground servers in England had a little bit of trouble. And... Uh, maybe they just melted. I don't know. Maybe that was the issue. But maybe. anyway, so he's he's dealing with all of the aftermath of that, unfortunately. So okay. So now that the business has been handled, uh, we've welcomed everybody. We're so glad you're here. Let's start kicking off some websites. W either of you want to jump in with one first, and I'll um go ahead and put it up on the screen. Um. Yeah. So who's who's doing the screen sharing? Whoever's talking, or should we have one? I think I'm the only one who can. Okay. Yeah, that's, oh, that's easier. Not I true. Say. That's not true. Actually, yeah. You go ahead. Share. Each of us can share our own. I forgot. Um, already. So. Very organized, as always. 
All right. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is from uh, Leslie Bernal, a girl in her Mac. Um, Sorry. Eric, Um, me and let's me and Eric, let's start queuing ours up so we can be ahead of this. Like I know you had a chair. I'm going to figure it out why he's talking. Oh, yeah, it's right actually, at the bottom on StreamYard, you guys. Oh, do you want to okay. just do it? I have to go into preferences and like uh, change. Oh, the you're gonna have security. to. Oh my so gosh, do you want to just share? Send me your URL Leslie. while you talk about it. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's her it's, actually her a girl on her Mac. It's website. a girl on her Mac. Yeah. Okay. So it's perfect. A girl in her Mac dot design. Okay, got it. Um. Yeah. So this is, in my opinion, the most creative. Divi website out there in terms of just the level of customization, the level of creativity. And so when you look at it immediately, you're like immersed into kind of a cartoon. Uh, It is a desktop, right? Like a a physical desktop um, with a notebook and and you see the corner of a laptop, you see a mobile phone. um, And then the top right is the menu button and you hover and it shows some different pages. Um, and then the notebook has some stickers or branding. Uh, it's just immediately just pulls you in. It's like, it's a cartoon, but like retro, it's really hard to explain. So, so for our audio listeners, you really just need to take a look at Leslie's website, a girl in her Mac dot design. And then when you scroll down, it immerses you into her world. There's like a resume, which is kind of like this her little about effect info. is kind of familiar. Does anybody know where this effect what that reminds you of when you scroll down and all the pieces fly away, it looks like the Divi dot chat. Website, it is. So Leslie is, she designed, designed that as well. Yeah. Yeah. She designed Divi dot chat and she actually had help. I forgot who she got help from that hand coded the JavaScript to pull all those pieces away. So she, she reused that for, for this site too, but yeah, it is, it's just absolutely creative and you might see some logos that you recognize uh, there of some companies that she's worked for. Um, my company, Divi Live, uh, David and Cora's company, Divi Space, Elegant Themes. Um, so under her about info. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can keep scrolling, Stephanie. Sure. sure. Spoiler alert: My logo isn't on here, but she did some work for me, which I'm actually going to share later as well. She's she's just the best. Yeah, and so she has just a really cool form built in there too. Um, and the the pages are just slightly askew, like not so much to make it throw you off but like they're just not quite straight like a piece of paper sitting on a desk right exactly because if you think about it it's like when you have a piece of paper it's not going to be perfectly level on the desk perfectly perpendicular and stuff and so everything it's just kind of disheveled a little bit Mm -hmm. yeah it's just it's so creative like silvers are good this was made in divi with a whole lot of custom css let's just be clear about that Mm -hmm. um but yeah it is i i think when this approach can be done really tastefully like Leslie has done, or it could be just kind of cheesy and annoying, like in, in terms of like the high customization and really, you know, immersive type of experience. Um, but the way she's done it is awesome. She's done a fantastic job with it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. So good. I love that these stickers are actually stickers that she's made too. She was selling these online for a while. I think these are her, this is all her artwork. That are the stickers yeah. on the notebook here too. So, yeah, awesome, awesome example. Um, Eric, do and, you have? Oh, well, I was sorry. Gonna go say, I was going to say, I think with this one too, it works because of her intended audience. I think the 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 cautionary note I would have would be, you know, if I was looking at this as a new web designer, I'd see something like this and I'd be like, oh, I need my site to look just to to function like this and look just just like this. Um, but I would be probably wrong because of my intended audience. Um, her, hers is perfect for her intended audience. And I absolutely love it. So. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You, you do need to know your audience for this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did we want to click through to any of the other pages? Or, um, think I think just for time's of- sake, I th- we can move on to other sites. Can... Okay, cool. It might even just be the one scrolling thing. I think. I it think is. it is. Yeah, I think cool. it's just a. So one even pager. just a one pager, and man, she makes it so freaking cool. All right, Leslie, we miss you. Come back and visit us, please. All right, um, Eric, I have yours queued up here. Which one did you want to? Uh, 
Yeah. No, but my. Uh, okay. How about so Adam we'll go... Fleep Wines? Okay, yeah, just go with that. That one goes yeah. Okay, yeah. here we go. Okay, um, you drive. So like you drive one, what to do, and I'll drive. It has a little bit of action. It, can you hit the? Can you hit a refresh on it? Mm -hmm. For people that are watching this, um, it, if it will, there. Um, we're maxing. We maybe oh, so it comes in. It's just got a nice little load effect there that that kind of so the scrolls in uh, that caught my attention. And you can see that it's built with like three different layers there. For sure. Um, I Super also, subtle, like Ken Burns action happening. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, I really like how clean the navigation is, even though they have a lot up there. Um, that because they have a lot of color in this. Now, the thing I would point out that I really like about this is for their background image, their their value, the value difference in in the picture. Um, works because it, it's not like uh, a bunch of, you know, areas that are, you know, really bright colored, a, a not, you know, intermixed with a bunch of areas that's really dark. Like the, the picture is like in these color value blocks. And so that's why the layering on that really works. So really, really smart um, on that. Uh, and then you just scroll down. I just really like the, the layout they didn't they then then go into what i think is a very clean look where it mm -hmm. matters and that's with the content like the bottles of wine so for those who can't see this they're selling wine well when they get to the point with the bottle of wines there's nothing distracting you like when it when it when the page first loads and it has those leaves and the layers and the block like that's really kind of cool and neat looking but then they knew enough to stop there when they scroll down, they just re totally they let true. the bottle of wine shine. They let the content yeah. do the the work. Um, and so I was just really Im impressed by that uh, when I saw it. Yeah, this part has a lot of depth, a lot of richness. Really, really cool. Um, it almost feels like it does not look photographic. It f has almost like a fantasy sort of feel to it. Yeah, yeah. almost a um, 3D feel. Yeah, super cool. But but it then almost you... looks like it's a painting that's just like coming to life. You know? That's why Eric likes it. It looks like a <laughs> uh, But then we scroll down, and you're absolutely right, Eric. Then they like, then you get to the wines, and it's almost it um, it catches you clean. the simplicity of it because it's so bright and light and clean and totally different. But really, really like t classy though. I, still, I like it a lot. That's yeah. awesome. Um, Tim, do you want to jump back to? Do you want to do one of yours? Um, yeah, I'm fine doing know. that. But if you wanted to do one of yours first, we could do uh, that. Okay, we'll I'll, I'll show you um, the one that Leslie did for me, uh, which is a for my agency when I was uh, focusing on breweries, which I'm not doing anymore. Oh, hold on. I, I'm trying to get this. I'm moving tabs everywhere. So, um here is the site that she designed for my company, Sweet Tea. And we were doing uh, Sweet Tea Craft Marketing is what we were calling it. And she did all of these uh, hand-drawn elements that we then included, uh, like, some photographic elements along with it, which Ooh. I think is really fun. And Super just a little bit of... Uh, and for those who are listening, sorry. It's a drawing of a pint of beer with, like, fun little accents around it. But then it's an actual photo of a frothy, bubbly beer showing okay. through it. So and the URL is um, sweet tea dot beer. Sweet tea okay. dot beer. Yeah. So uh, and then little like she drew all of these things, like a little hand with an OK sign and the arrows and just the way they sort of pop in. And then she used um, some cool little slight, just tiny little nice effects when you hover mm -hmm. over things that are just little sort of micro interactions, which I really love and little b says buzz buzz um which is so a play creative. on words because he's getting a buzz you know with his <laughs> ear so um anyway uh this site also has a lot of fun things on it because if you go to so the whole process of it which is is not just about the design of it but the way we went through the process is the menu is not your typical just um seek out what you're looking for but we it's a process so we walk through like home and then it 
as you move down to the end of the page, it says, why do I, why do I need this? Why would Sweet Tea do this? Which is the next item in the menu. And it's a button right here. So then it like, it's like steps through the site. So then mm -hmm. it's a little bit more of um, Leslie's drawings and things. And then it takes us to what we do, which is the third page on the menu. It just sort of walks people right through the site, um, showing the different services and things like that onto the how it works so we're just taking them on a little journey so that they scroll down to the end of each page and then click a button and then um, schedule a kickoff call so then there's a call to action at the bottom to schedule a call this site also has a quiz on it which is really fun um, and it actually gives you a, um, a brewery report card uh, which one is it Let's see, take our quiz. This is the quiz one. So I hope that this still looks good, yeah. So this has a report card, so you can check all these little boxes, so uh, cool. radio buttons, and they will um, tally up your points as you go. And um, and then this is, so this is using Gravity Forms with Divi. So Love to use it. this and calculate all these things, and then once they get their score, they fill this in, and then with conditional logic, it takes them to an appropriate page based on the score that they got. So it either says like, wow, you really need some help or you're doing awesome. We suggest this is the next step, you know, that kind of thing. So, nice. um, yeah. Love it. So, um, she, yeah. Leslie is just one of the most creative de designers ever. She's so good. I know. I miss her. Uh, okay. Uh, how about, let's see, IT assurance. Is that one of yours, Tim? Yes. So, um, I, uh, is that I, a good one I to go next? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I just have to set it up a little bit. So I didn't do my homework. Um, and so I <laughs> uh, was messaging my team and saying, guys, I need help. Uh, send me some sites of, of good Divi sites that you've seen that some of our customers have had. So my support team scoured tickets and uh, put together a couple sites and stuff. And so um, most of them are using some of my products at Divi Life. And I promise that wasn't my intention was to self-promote. Um, but they're just really cool sites. So um, this one is oh. IT assurance so my it assurance.com um it's just really creative design uh some bold colors um grabbing your attention kind of bringing you in um yeah, really bold just looks... hero guys for those listening it's kind of uh grungy really grungy, bright red with yeah. a hand-drawn like thumbs down <laughs> that says bad it stop wasting time and money i mean that's like instead of it being all that boring corporate speak like that's really good i love it yeah exactly and um i'll let you get there but i think my favorite part's the footer it's like hand drawn it almost reminds me of like uh van gogh oh, cool. <laughs> nice there's a lot of nice elements in here they've got like a little sketchy picture of himself uh, uh zach i guess the head geek yeah a lot of nice uh elements they're using little bordered um what are these called? Dividers? Mm -hmm. Little custom graphics on these buttons here. Yeah, nice. Good one. Yeah. Um, and functionality wise, like nothing wild and crazy, but some of, oh, it's got a little chat on it. So they are integrating something with their Divi site, but just using a straight up Divi site. I'm assuming this is Divi bars at the top. To yes, add a little yes, it is. Banner up here. Nice. Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, nice one. Good job, IT Assurance. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I really like, so one of the things is, and we, we didn't necessarily talk about it or anything, and that's okay, but yeah, for me, when I look at a site, there are really five kinds of things that, I'm, that, I, that I primarily look at. And the first one is branding and movement. Um, and it's those branding elements that come together, typography, colors, you know, the pictures and any graphics and this one has all of those nailed i mean it's just yeah. across the board I, I like the consistency of it so in fact i think all the ones we've looked at so far that that first pillar has you know definitely been there so it's cool yeah totally. you know that's i'm really glad you said that i got so excited to just jump into the sites that we didn't really talk about what how we were sort of saying like why these are our favorite when I mean, we, we were talking about because they look cool and stuff but they're and that is a thing so the way it looks is really good. The way it functions is also important, 
I mean, we could go down a whole road of checking how these look on mobile and all that stuff. But you can see when we load these in the browser, they're just popping right up. There's no lag. They're nice and fast. There's no wonkiness with any of the sections or things not loading or missing elements. So the technical elements are just, just at a quick glance, at least, are all in place. And then um, for a little something extra, I think it's cool to talk about um, projects that have like, they take Divi and then they expand on it and do extra stuff. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys are, for those listening um, live right now and watching in the, on YouTube or in Facebook, we can see your comments. So please, if you have um, some sites that you really like, if we have time, we'll, we'll check out some of the ones you're, um, you're a fan of. And so paste a, pay, oh, you won't be able to send a link. If we're friends, send it to me. <laughs> on Facebook or something or to Eric or to Tim and um and let us know why you like it. Uh but and then put we'll... links in the comments. Well on Facebook you can but not on YouTube. Because uh, people can't be trusted, Eric. It. It's uh, a like, yeah. scary yeah. world out there. I mean links links are a big responsibility on the internet, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> um okay, which one's next? That was Tim's. Eric, which one do you want to go with next? Okay, cool enough. Uh, oh, you don't care? Well, I can't remember which one was which. Pure Shenandoah, is that yours? No, that's mine. No. Okay. Thra oh, Eric, help me out, man. Uh, pull up uh, pull up Happily Married Couples. Okay. Because this, this one is a little bit oh. different than what, what you had just talked about. So with Happily Married Couples, the reason this one, I, I put this one on my list is because... Um, this site is by somebody that I know that, and it's a DIY. So this is somebody, so it's, it's very Divi esque and Divi in the box, but this site is doing a great job on conversions because of the content. He has spent an immense amount of time on the content. Now there are some technical issues. The site is not ADA compliant, things like that. So it, um, but I just think it was important to, I wanted to show like, while design is important, um, a website that is simple and, and still not crazy. Like I, I didn't want to, to I, I didn't want to list, show a bunch of sites that people that are new was watching this and thinking that like they're, you know, getting either discouraged or feel like. The only way to make a great site is it has to be totally unique and out of the, you know, it can't look anything like right. Divi. Um, That's a really great fact, point. I mean, Eric. What's that? I just called you Mike on accident, but I said it was a really great point. So Go this ahead. one, you can, you can, um, I'm honored to be called Mike, by the way. So. <laughs> but, but so this is a, an example of a site. If you scroll down through, it's a very simple site, um, but he has spent a lot of time like there on the, the alliteration of those three top things that connect community. I don't know there were, there were three in there, but um, great, great images. Uh, again, good you know, brand identity down through it, clear call to actions. Yeah, I like um, these nice little touches on the left and the right just to keep it from being super boring. Yeah. Stripey, a stripe, super boring, stripey site because it's easy to fall into that. Yeah. 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 Um, and so, I mean, there's some design things. And, and like I said, it, it's not ADA compliant and it's, it, there's, there's some mobile responsiveness, you know, but every once in a while, like he'll ask me and I'll, I'll give him some advice or tips and stuff. But he's doing a great job. And this is just, this is a DIY. I mean, that's, Jackie is building a site. And though I know Jackie and his wife um, really well, and this site converts really high for him. So it's a great lead oh, cool. magnet. Um, and he's using that to bring people eventually into a, a membership site for couples to be happily married forever. So it's just kind of a cool site. That's awesome. Right. And that's a really great point because a lot of times as web designers, we equate successful websites with like beauty and how beautiful they are, which really there's n like very little correlation because you can have amazingly gorgeous sites that aren't really doing much and aren't converting. And then you yeah. can have simple sites that are clean and uh, they're, they're focused on, you know, what the goals are lead magnets, whatever. And like you said, 
that convert super well and they do the job they're supposed to do. And it's, it, you could tell that it's a Divi site and that's okay because the client or, or the, the friend of yours is happy because it's doing what they're, they're wanting it to do. And they're, they don't care that it, they didn't design all these things, hand drawn and everything. So yeah. Anyways, yeah. And it's simple. It. And he doesn't have the skill set to do that. Um, and, and again, that's, that's okay. I, I think he's averaging, uh, I forget what it is, but it's, it's a pretty high conversion rate and it's much higher. The average website converts 4% of its visitors. Um, and he's well above 4%. So yeah. So anyway, just something to keep in oh. mind. Okay, great. Uh, who has a, do you want to do the base boss site? Sure. I thought it was bass boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled like uh, both so i didn't look at it yet but yeah it's not so, about fish it's not about fish so what i like about this site is it's different it's not your typical yeah. white header you know it's i like the dark background it's very fitting for what they're selling it's on brand you know selling these speakers um and so yeah and it's it's not over the top with like some of the branding and uh you know design elements it's it's when you scroll through it's simple but it's it's well branded um and then if you scroll through you can see some of the elements like the dividers moving as you scroll almost like they're like wave like uh, sound waves a little bit um super subtle uh got some nice carousels in there um, as well. So yeah, as you see that, see, as you scroll the blue divider or turquoise, whatever that is, it kind of moves ever so slightly, Oh, nice! Uh, which yeah, I'm a know. sucker for subtle effects. <laughs> I hate over the top effects, but when something just moves a little bit, just some slight movement. Oh, it's so good. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool, really clean site, uh, immersive with, uh, you know, the brand and the, the speakers and the dark backgrounds and everything. So yeah, really stoked on this. Yeah, nice. And they do dark mode well. Like sometimes uh, an all black site, like this site has a all black or very, very dark gray background yeah. throughout. And one of the issues I find with a site like that is you're you're a bit limited in the colors you can use. Like you you pretty much have to have only white to mm -hmm. have your text you can't and it so but they use different weights of their fonts here and um they use yellow very well too which has a nice contrast on the black without making it look like a bumblebee or anything like that so yeah they did, they did a nice <laughs> job on this so, yeah. yeah definitely absolutely uh okay so how about uh melissa b fit sure is this you eric yeah um Okay, so again, with this one, what I really like on this one is the fact that they spent the time to do, uh, again, it's a real focus on content. Um, and the the photography is actually the person. They're not using stock photos here to tell a story. They invested in a professional photographer to do a nice, clean photo shoot. And then uh, right off the bat, the, the content tells you exactly what she's doing. And if you're on the right page and then as you scroll down through the pictures, just continue to go along with the story. And it's just a really nice clean site. Again, nothing fancy um, uh, done by a designer that just did a really nice clean site. But like I said, I really like the fact that they invested in some personal photography. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, I think, uh, is this the first one that's had a cookie pop up um, for us? I think so. Of these ones that we've looked at. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't technically, I don't think they, they need it, um, but it's there. She's got, this lady has a lot of kids. That makes you, pre she should show the kids first up, makes you appreciate her body even more. Jeez. Okay. Right, um, you're already getting pulled into the story just by the pictures. I know. I was. See? Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Photography, investing in that photography is a big deal. The, I mean, content, 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 content. Content, content. So, what is content, um, King? 
<laughs> something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Guys, we are, um, we're just about, oh, actually exactly at the halfway point of our show. And I was thinking as we're doing this, um, you know, we talked to, I jumped back to this Adam's Leap Wines, the vineyard one, because uh, I want to use it as a little guinea pig here. Um, we're talking about all these sites that are divvy, but what if you see a site in the wild that doesn't have the divvy look, which remember back in the day, there was a very distinct like header that would scroll up whenever you scroll down the page and like all the other things that it would have. Um, so just for if we've got um, some newbies or some folks that aren't super technical, would one of you guys uh, like to walk through or, or I, could, I don't care, but if you guys want to walk through how you would go about figuring out what the tech is on a site? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the first thing that you do, no matter what browser you're in, is right click and select from the right click menu inspect element, which it's not showing on the screen share because it's only it didn't showing show my mouse. But yeah, it, it didn't show the mouse. But it's it. and then it, uh, you open up the, the Chrome inspector, um, which mm -hmm. when you learn how to use the inspector, the, the browser developer tools, it is a game changer. And so once you're in that, you can basically, the, the, the quickest way that I do it is I just do a uh, command or control F in the mm -hmm. code and then just search for ET underscore because Elegant Themes has all of their classes with the, um, what is it, the pre, um, anyways, they're starting all their classes with ET Prefix. as in, yeah. Prefix. So we yeah, found uh, 223 um, on this page. So I say it's safe to say this is an ET site. Yeah, exactly. And so, and then, uh, so ET like this, but then the, it also the, there's throughout the classes ET underscore PB as in elegant themes page builder, which is funny because they actually, I think in the beginning, before they had settled on a name, they were building the structure and the classes and stuff. And so it, they, they, the prefix was ET underscore PB as in page builder, even before Divi was like settled Whoa. on as a name. Anyways. Whoa, that's huge. Fun fact for you. Um, one of my favorites is builtwith.com. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. we're gonna keep using Adam's Leap Wines. I already typed it in, so we didn't have to wait for it to load. If you go to, uh, again, it's builtwith.com and then type in a URL, it will scroll down and show, you can um, see tons of different things that are on the site. If they've got Google Analytics, as this one shows, different widgets and plugins, and they've got Recapture, Google Tag Man Manager, WooCommerce, and then here you go, right here under the framework section, this shows that this is in fact a Divi site in case there was any doubt before. Um, so anyhow, you can see a lot of different f fun and nerdy things. Uh, you can see their name servers are on GoDaddy. So there's lots of uh, lots and lots of info. And this site just pulls it up unbelievably fast. <laughs> it is amazingly fast. So um, Eric, do you have anything to add to me? Yeah, I had, a, I had a little link. Um, I often will jump over to what WP theme is. Is that... I think it is. Oh, cool. Um, does the same kind of thing. Uh, maybe not as much detail is is built with, um, but it shows you the obviously the theme. And what's really cool is uh, if it's not a WordPress site, it tells you right away. Um, so, yeah. yeah um, there we go. Thanks. That's Divi right so, there. So I. What am I trying to say? <laughs> I'd love to know. <laughs> so the the tools built with the WP theme is that is 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 cool. the The only downside is if someone uh, is using sometimes if they use a child theme, it, it may or may not pick up Divi. Or if someone's using something like Divi Ghoster to hide the theme. But what's mm. cool about if you inspect the element, and look at the classes. Like no one's going to change the name of all the CSS classes throughout a theme, and so that could be like the surefire way. Even if there, someone's trying to hide it, ninety-eight percent of the time, no one's trying to hide the fact they're using Divi. But um, sometimes, sometimes. Um, okay, let me just, uh, guys. I've been busy jumping back and forth between all these windows here. Is there anything in the chat that we need to pull up? Can one of you guys keep a? Keep an eye yeah. on oh, Mike needs a beer. He did mention that. Oh, yeah. Mike's listening. He needs 
Mike Devitt, I need a beer right now or 10. <laughs> Awful guy. <laughs> we love you, Mike. We do. We miss you tonight. Nancy says she asked, why do I always have to count the fingers on any illustrated hand? That is that is a really funny and weird problem. Um, <laughs> so like you're like anti-Mickey Mouse? I don't know. Because you, I get weirded out if there aren't five fingers. No Mickey Mouse for you. <laughs> That's um, really funny. I love that. It is funny. So, um, okay. Let's see. Let's you see what's do next. Pure, pure Shenandoah. Shenandoah. <laughs> Pure so this is this is a customer site that's using some of my products, um, and it's like uh -oh. hemp CBD gate? oil. Yeah, so there's an age, age gate, gate on right it. Here, I am in fact over 21 years of age. In fact, it could have made a whole nother 21 year old person. <laughs> that's how much past that I am. So yeah, this one kind of hits those check boxes for like the branded elements and stuff that we've been talking about, uh, with just the typography and then just the color scheme and stuff is really consistent throughout um, and got some uh, graphics and stuff, carousels. Colonials right out of the gate at the top too. Yeah. yeah and the, what I like too is the, the packaging and the, and the website color schemes are really unified too. So when you scroll down and start looking at the products, um, it all yeah. kind of comes Whoa. together. They have really cool mega menus too. Shameless plug. They're oh. using Divi Mega Pro. Oh man, that looks awesome. Hovering over the menu opens up a huge mega menu that's got paragraphs, images, other stuff to click on. Whoa, this has a lot. Cool. That is yeah, really that's nice. one of the better mega menus I've seen. That's good. Really nice. Yeah. Definitely. Super fast too. Yeah, like no lag whatsoever. And Divi like mega I Pro. But sometimes whenever y'all like when you open a mega menu and then you go to get it and there's a little gap there and it closes it yes. <laughs> you that yeah. happen? like you go just off it's not wide enough and you like you oh i know like okay it's like a video game like i'm gonna beat this level i'm gonna get to the mega menu <laughs> yeah i was doing that with um with gravity forms uh so over at wp gears we did a webinar and so we had a webinar sign up. And so Gravity Forms up in the admin bar, you can select forms and then you can hover over your form and then hit entries. And um, uh, the title of the form was super long because I put the full webinar name as the form title. So trying to scroll my mouse over to click on entries to see how many people signed up for the webinar. It, and I kept missing it because I had to like. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's really funny. And frustrating. Okay, um, I have one here. I'm gonna put in. Um, Andrew Palmer sent me this one. I asked him if he had any ideas, and this is one that they built five years ago, but it has held up. Oh, it looks really cool on mobile too. I wish this was. That's where oh, I looked nice. at it um, earlier. And hold on, I lost my screen here. Um, maybe I will even just pop it into mobile mode here. Let's do an inspect and let's put this in. Uh, mobile just so you can see how cool this looks on a phone um oh that's so tiny how do i wait, zoom wait. in uh, where it says no throttling yeah go to 100 percent. then you might have to move your uh, yeah yeah so this is called offbeat uh offbeat branding something like that we create successful brands and they've just got these three big yellow circles right in the front that are buttons that take you to places and it's just super bold imagery and That's just awesome. sort of no fluff whatsoever it just i love how this just fills the screen it doesn't put more than you need to know the, it's a the mobile, slim menu. mobile menu it looks like too yeah uh i don't know is that what do you mean by slim mobile menu like it's it's it doesn't take up a lot of vertical real estate it, it's the right. the header at the top is very slim because typically like the oh yeah yeah yeah. I see what you're saying. Is, yeah is taller yeah um oh andrew's messaging me well i don't know why he's messaging me somewhere else get on the live <laughs> andrew come on he's like it's better in desktop all right fine i'll start with desktop. but uh, i think it looks pretty I, great on mobile andrew it does but like this is a oh because we wouldn't have these little mouse overs. The hover effects, yeah. I wonder if they'll ever do it where if you hover your finger over the phone, it'll have an effect. I don't You'd know. You'd have to be do. looking at like with the camera if you're or something. I don't know. Uh, I mean, there are 
touch effects where if you just touch without releasing anyways. Yeah. So I thought this was um, a really fun and cool site that is just like no, no punches pulled when it comes to their imagery. And I mean, when they say offbeat, it's an offbeat website, which is right on brand. And it's just so bold. And yeah, um, when you use yellow as one of your main colors, like that is a bold statement. Um, and they, they're doing it really well. Like it looks great. And the fact that they are, again, knowing your audience and your brand are critically important here. Um, like I would not try to emulate this look and layout and feel for a pizza shop. Um, you know, people go to a pizza shop website and they've, they've, they've been trained and learned and they know and they want to accomplish something. And this mm -hmm. would, would get in the way of, of right. that. Um, but this is a, again, so it comes down to the, you know, one of the things I talk about with, with my team, you know, regularly is the principle behind the practice. When we see something that we like, we don't want to just copy it. We want to take right. a moment and ask, why is why this, is why is this working? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we can contextualize it into what we're doing. But I see too many times new designers, they go and they see something and they like it. So they take it and they try to copy it and make it work for a client. And it just doesn't work because it, it's not matching the brand, the customer journey, anything like that. So, but this is yeah. great. Well said. Yeah. Mike is chiming in again with a very timely reminder. If you are watching live, please do hit the like button. Give us a little love in the in the um, YouTube video live, or if you are listening on your podcast app or wherever you are, give us a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you haven't already, so you get the notifications. Um, and I wish I could schedule these for seven after. I wish I could just schedule them for seven after. I've actually tried just for the joke, but they won't let me. <laughs> In case you've ever wondered. It's all, it's all boring on the hour. They're like, we, we never built that in because we didn't think anyone would want to do that. That's a terrible Who idea. <laughs> Who would want that? <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, we did Pure Shenandoah. How about um, Thrive Framework? Yeah, that one w was giving me, it wasn't loading as smoothly. Um, okay. But yeah, it looks like we're here now. Doing um, well. I don't know what this is here. We got a little weird thing there. I don't okay, know what so that we got is a little either. typing effect in the header. We've got a nice big bold hero image. It loaded okay. It wasn't too slow. Okay. It loaded a little slow um, for me the first time, but yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, we got this is a very classic old school Divi thing the little dots. For the sections remember these guys yeah it's been a while since i've seen a site with that also they're not working <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, there yeah, you this, go. Having, this one is having a little struggle it looks nice though i wonder if maybe it's because i haven't seen these dots in a while so maybe they're not um the dots are just breaking everything <laughs> no i meant like maybe it's an older divi site yeah there's something weird going on with the way this is loading are you in an optimal state to thrive in the new normal? I don't think so. All right, let's move on from this one. What do you say? Or is uh, it not scrolling? Can... Like you can't scroll at all? Oh, yeah, I can, I guess. I, just... okay. <laughs> I gave up when I couldn't push the button, the little dot. <laughs> yeah, those are cool flip boxes. The thrive. Oh, yeah. Ah. yeah, that's a neat those effect. Super cool. Again, not subtle, like, but it is a super cool effect. This is your plugin too, huh, Tim? Yeah, that's with the Flipbox and Divi Modules Pro. Well, and the only other thing to keep in mind, though, very, very cool effect. But I don't know how. I don't know. I, I don't know how. How would that rate from an accessibility perspective? Is it Ooh. does this only work on mouse over or does it work on tab? Um, they work on tab. Yeah. Oh, OK. OK. Then never mind. He said tab. Oh, I thought you said tap as in like mobile. No, um, on tab. If if I'm engaging with the website without a mouse because I can't, you know, and I'm right. And I'm using right. Think. Yeah, that probably wouldn't work. Yeah, we would need an alternate. Um, 
nice layout though. Yeah. I like that. The map thing above that. Kind of the road. Yeah, yeah, that was one of my cool. favorite things. The little road going down through the section connecting all the different bits. Yeah, um, that's cool. I bet that was annoying to get that to all line up correctly. Yeah. Background and put everything the CSS. Um all right, we have Women in Music Awards. Dot AU. Women in Music Awards dot com dot AU. Yes. I I brought this one uh this is one I like. Um I love the fact that it is a bold website. It is black and gold. And I don't think a lot of people would have thought of that developing a website for a woman's music award. Right. Um, but it you know, for those great. who are listening, I just want to clarify. It's not like bright yellow kind of gold. No, it looks a, metallic. Yeah. It's yeah. Like I really plastic. like, again, again, they know their audience. They know the brand that right there before you read anything like that conveys their brand. And, and that's the job of it. Um, you know, so their, their, their brand board, their lookbook is, is great. And then as you scroll down, um, it just continues to stay very uh, bold. Um, that's, I mean, that's a standard Divi uh, section divider. But they switch to the white within just nice black text. And then it, it goes back. I like the alternating white, black, white, black. But it's mm -hmm. not, section isn't overloaded. I like how that section is just like, that's the only thing in that one section. Um, the pop-up is nice and clean. It doesn't come pretty far down the page either, yeah. Yeah, it did, doesn't get in your way. Um, and so I just thought it did a great job. Great imagery, great content, nice flow. I like the alternating dark white and then a really nice it's a, uh, a tad zebra for me but but i like the i like the imagery and the style of all of these the graphic elements on it yeah so and um it's i and uh i would like to say that i also picked it because it was a dot au um and uh it's an homage to sarah but that would have been a lie so <laughs> Yeah, I almost like how simple the footer is because it's like yeah. these days footers are so I don't, I don't know complex. Yeah, and so they're just like, nope, follow us here, here, and here, and then that's it. They're not trying to do anything else with it. Social, not yeah, I agree. That's a great point. Um, yeah, how do you? What do you guys do in your footers? It depends. I mean, it's so. Uh, well, I would say most of our footers have now gone to a contact form, um, or a, what we we, we call a quick a quick contact. Um, we, we've tried to move away from making people have to go to a contact page um, to send things in for so higher conversion. To, to again, we're we're constantly trying to make sure our sites are above the four percent um, average, and. So a lot of times, not necessarily a subscribe, we, we have that in higher above. Um, and the footer is kind of the contact page, but now just in the footer with a nice little simple quick contact form, quick connect form. Nice. Um, nice. And then um, the legal pages, we always, you know, the legal pages, the accessibility stuff, some SEO things. We Do you have... Guys ever just oh, have those to... random thoughts that like make you chuckle a little bit that you're almost embarrassed to say out loud as you're talking stephanie and you're like what do you guys do for your footers for your website footers i started thinking why do we call them footers when we're talking about plural why don't we call them feet why don't we call them website feet like what do you do for, like how do you build your website feet you know yeah you're right <laughs> those are like that's a good example of a thought you shouldn't have said out loud. <laughs> that is a, that's not like a random thought that I would have had. I'm kind of mad I didn't. Yeah. It's, amazing. it's only Tuesday, but it's been a very busy week for me, and I feel like it should be Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. The feet. Let's the feeders. The feeders somebody put in the comment. The feeders. Uh, 
Okay, uh, Ramon Buzon, but Buzon, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. Ramon, sorry. He um, shared a site. Let's take a look at this. He said it's a nice, simple one pager. Costa Blanca DMC.com. Um, so we've got a very sparse sort of opening section here with no words, just a couple graphic images. Well, think globally, act differently. But like the hero is um, very unusual, huh? It's almost like you're peeking through a little window here. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like it. And then, uh, yeah, anything that sort of makes you stop because it's a little bit different. Uh, there's the interrupt. Yeah, exactly. Local events, just really um, simple. And I like how they have these few shapes and they're turning them into all these different icons. Really nice. That stood yeah. out to me, yeah. It, something that took me a long time to figure out when I was a new web designer is that simple and clean, when you look at it, it might look easy, but it's mm -hmm. actually pretty difficult to do simple and clean really well. And this yeah. accomplishes that. I can't remember where I learned it, but I know it was it was really helpful. Um, the the person said, "Great design is achieved not when you can't add anything new, but when you absolutely can't take anything away." Like yeah. that's great design. That's um, profound. Yeah, it's and that was really good because I was I was okay. being serious. No, I, I like that's. I think that that's a really good statement in it's really terms profound. of design. And like no, this one is like, it's, just, it's a nice clean site. I like it. Yeah, yeah. thanks for sharing, Ramon. Oops, uh, now I'm sending somebody an email. I did not. <laughs> that. The contact I, button just goes straight to an email. I that is one of my biggest pet peeves is when uh, is linking to an email and it yeah. opens up your email client and it's like I'm not using that email client even though it's technically my default email client cuz I use Gmail in the browser and it's like all of a sudden now it's starting to load uh, an old inbox for an email I haven't I used in a decade and... mail. right I don't want to use mail. <laughs> exactly uh, yeah. what do you, I I I go back and forth and again it probably depends on the client this the situation that you know I go back and forth on whether I like a desktop site Loading with a mobile mint with a. Uh oh, it, it freeze. Up, Eric. Oh man, I'll, I'll continue his thought until he unfreezes. Yeah. <laughs> I I agree. I don't typically like having a mobile style menu on desktop because it's an extra click for the user. You have to go and click to open it instead of just seeing what you need and then being able to click it. Um, however, I think when it's a heavily branded site and really unique, it can work. Um, it's like something like this. So I think that was kind of what Eric was going to say before he I think it is. froze in such a awesome facial Perfect. expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I agree. And I think it depends on your audience. If you have a non-tech savvy audience, you don't want to do that because they won't know. Oh, we, we just straight up lost him. Tim, now we can say whatever we want. <laughs> um, oh. So, uh, okay. I think that was, let me double check our list. I think that was, oh yeah, he, oh, his internet went out. All right. Well, nice to see. Oh, he's back. Welcome back. That was. Thank you. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Oh, well, you're back now. So did I hit all of the sites um, that you guys. You all the ones I submitted, yeah shared i think i did i tried to be sort of semi organized about it um there are now who do you is there anybody that you follow that you really like what they do i'm gonna go ahead and take the share off now so maybe we can just chat a little bit we've just got a, another five minutes but instead of a final thought maybe we can say is there anybody that you really like the work that they do besides leslie bernal of course yeah i know i'm in the leslie bernal fan club leslie if you're listening we love you come back you know, come visit and hang out um i know i i really like melissa love's work yeah i think she's yeah. super talented um, not just a talented designer because her sites are all beautiful, but they also convert. Like she's just so brilliant. We've had her on the show. If you if you didn't catch the episode where we had Melissa Love on here, you want to go back and and look that up. I don't know what the 
episode number was, sorry, but um, yeah, she, she's, she's so brilliant. brilliant when it comes to funnels and, and um, things like that. So I, I really do like that. Christian Van Hoff is another guy who is a genius. We all know and love Christian here. And um, he has such a way of mixing in things like advanced custom fields and other tech in with Divi to make the site that is uh, easily editable and really cool looking, but also got super cool functionality for the end user. So I, those are those are two uh, of mine. I was saying I hired Christian to do because <clears throat> I was working on it for ages. I've, I've talked about it in the past, and I finally just gave up and just hired Christian to redesign our agency site in TransitStudios.com, and man it was just he did a great job um and i love how easy it is he made uh for us to edit our portfolio um so did a really nice yeah job. that's, that's the one amazing that's live now yeah in transit oh, sure. yeah i like how i love how clean it is yeah he did real quick. A great great job with it and then on the back end like he just made it really simple for us to go in and I did. I like the fact that he just didn't take into like, well, you know, they're they're web designer, so that the back end doesn't have to be that carefully thought out. He really did a great job. So that's epic. yeah. He can't help himself. I don't think it was that much thought put into it, Eric. He just can't oh, help just, himself. Just he normal. has to trick. Just he has to trick it out. Yeah. This yeah. is the um. He here's the in transit site. Um, we build awesome marking. Uh oh. Is there a typo Mark on it? Kind of a big one. Yeah. Ugh. Is that supposed to be marketing? I assume. Probably. I haven't looked. I'm so sorry. I I, I wouldn't have even shared it. <laughs> I, I saw that first. <laughs> That's okay. You know I haven't even looked. I oh. sent I sent somebody and told him to make the edit, and I never went and looked. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, for what it's worth, I did not see that typo, Eric. All right, I I just blurted it out on accident. That was an accident. <laughs> yeah, no, um, it looks great though. And while we're here, why don't we just pop over to Divi Life? Is it Divi Life? It's not Divi Life. It's Divi Life right? Yeah, that's Divi Life. I think Divi Life redirects because I do own it. It's one of those things that it's like I own it, Man, but that I redirect. That Whoa. Yeah, I, I've spent a lot of time on the optimization. So that was incredibly fast. And my July sale uh, technically ended a week ago, but yet it's still technically okay. live at the same time because I get it while just it's keep hot, forgetting to guys. turn the promo bar off. <laughs> you know, I think those promo bars have a thing where you can schedule them. They do. Yeah, that feature <laughs> exists. We built it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, this is a nice, clean layout, too really good and the way you present all of your products and plugins yeah it needs to be Tons of visuals yeah i mean with, i mean with the life, newer right? newer products like we've added products but they're not in those yeah it always does and if you'd like to see um read a blog post or a tutorial with tim in his v-neck t-shirts oh no there's <laughs> only one v-neck t-shirt then you're solid in the solid right color t-shirts yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like you're i mean you look identical in these photos like except yeah, for just th those are videos. those are separate videos recorded on separate days and i just like when i'm <laughs> recording a video i move my i move my microphone out of the way and you do that i just yeah, i perfect. smile yeah and then i just i take a screenshot yeah i mean Love there's it. probably easier ways of doing it <laughs> uh and then while we're here might as well go to focus to focus to repeat focus. at CO. I, pretty I, quick. I, I have yet to look at your website with 3D glasses, and I, I think I'm really missing out. You are. It's true. I know. Some people keep, have been complaining. Not some people, just like one person in particular. They like to complain. Yeah. But I'm like, wait, just get the glasses then, you know? I'll do great. Yeah, I'll know. Yeah. Oh, it's I'll not know like it, right. it's not like it's broken. Like, you can still read it without it. Yeah, the words aren't in 3D, guys. They're not, like, floating up in your face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we have um, this site is Divi, of course, but we also built um, a whole agency portal in here too, where you can. There's a separate login, and um, is that you can submit your WordPress tickets. or a separate? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, Tom built this all in Divi, so it's pretty Good awesome. Tom. Yeah, 
he did an amazing job on this. So, um, anyway, yeah. And I know, I know Tim on your site, you've got a lot of, uh, e-commerce stuff too. And like account things and all of that. Yeah. The, the, uh, the customer portal is all theme builder with, um, I think, I think there's some ACF product pages are ACF. Cause basically what happened was I originally built the site back in 2016 on WooCommerce and then I migrated to easy digital downloads, but I liked the layout that I had with WooCommerce, but I couldn't do that w- without PHP. So then I used ACF heavily. Um, so yeah, anyways, well, good it works. Stuff. All right, you guys, that's it for us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little show and tell. Please let us know. Oh, Brenda, Brenda forgot. Oh. Come on, Brenda. She walked her At dog. At least she was walking her dog, though. I That's hope acceptable. your dog appreciates what you've sacrificed for her tonight. <laughs> if you guys like this little show and tell, slightly different format for us. If you liked it, please let us know. If you think of some other um, sort of different formats that you wouldn't mind seeing, whatever they may be, we're sort of trying to play around with some new ideas. Um We're always open for suggestions. Please do suggest some topics that you would like to hear us talk about, too. We're open for that as well. And in the meantime, we will see you around the groups. See you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.